fucking missed it. <laughs> Wait for everybody to join in live on YouTube. It's kind of late. Probably won't get a lot of people in here, but I got some things I want to talk about. The channel and upcoming reviews. It's a little dark. You can barely see me. I guess to a degree. Just waiting for everybody to join in the live feed here. You can take a few seconds. Once everybody gets a notification, they're here. What's up, Dark Knight? What's up, everybody? So, yeah. What's up, Lewis? So I got some pretty cool things I want to talk about. Um, I have been thinking about a track hawk for later on in the year, but I figured I'd let you guys know I've been really thinking about the Stelvio. That's another really nice car I want to review, and uh, I want to review the track hog as well, but uh, I'm going to have an opportunity at a local town I'm getting ready to drive through here in a little bit that I might be able to snag a Stelvio. It's it's the most talked about SUV besides the track hog. The Stelvio Quadrifoglio, everybody really likes that SUV. 505 horsepower, twin turbo V6. Can't go wrong. I mean, that's a lot of power. It's about as fast as an SRT is. Like SRT Durango and a Quadrifoglio Stelvio are about the same. Uh, depending on the driver, it could go either way, really. But of course, we all know the track hawks a lot faster. But that's not that's not the only thing we're talking about when we talk about these two SUVs. My dad's driving right now. You guys remember him from the Durango SRT reaction video? Uh, but yeah, we're traveling a little bit right now. We're going to have some palm trees in the, in the live feed tomorrow. So basically, what do you guys think? Stelvio or Trackhawk? Some ideas for the channel later on this year. If the GT500 isn't out in time, we can trade in both cars. Start fresh on something new for the channel, maybe this time next year. I'm thinking about the Stelvio. It's a really nice SUV. Uh, but also, the Dodge Demon review went very well. You guys may not know this, but I did race uh, the Demon. It was a very close race with the Hellcat. Me spinning all through second and third gear at 275s. It was still pretty awesome. So if everybody's asking why I don't have any uh, vlogs and they're all live feeds, it's because I'm in the process of a move. I got a new place I just moved into on the Jersey Shore, right on the water. It's temporary while I wait for my house, but it's pretty kick-ass. So I've been busy moving. That is the key here. Once I moved and settled in, the videos will return. I have a lot of content to come. I still haven't finished with the Integra or the Hellcat, and I'm looking at a Stelvio or Trackhawk later on in the year. And tons of car reviews to come in between. So there is a lot of stuff going on. And a lot of people keep asking me, hey, why did you sell the Durango? Why do you sell the Durango? Why, why, why? A lot of people ask that question. And I feel like I've answered it. 20 or 30 times already. However, the Durango is not sold yet. It's kind of in limbo right now. My wife and I are trying to figure out what to do with the Durango at this point. Use it till it sells or leave it on a lot. The Durango, I do not know, but there's reasons why we're selling it. So a lot of people ask about it. This will be the last time I talk about the Durango, um, at least until I know if we're going to hold on to it a little longer or let it stay for sale and use it. But until I know if I'm using it again, this will be the last time. Uh, the Durango's being sold because we got other things to take care of. And uh, I have a Hellcat already. Now, my wife and I talked about it. I could sell the Hellcat and keep the Durango. But most of my subscribers have already spoken and voted and said, no, keep the Hellcat. That's why I kept the Hellcat. So, can't really keep four or five cars. Yeah, the Jersey Shore is right. That's where we're at. I will reveal the house soon, but not yet. Right now we're in a, in a temporary stay and a really nice vacation home, which I'll show you guys tomorrow or the, or the next day when I get back on a live video. That'll be pretty awesome. Uh, Mike and Snooky, no, I don't know. But what I will tell you for sure is that if you guys watch Jersey Shore, you'd pretty much know who the situation is. I actually have met the situation's older brother. He's a really cool dude. But a lot of good stuff to come on the channel for sure. Car reviews, everything. I just figured I'd do a live video. Here we are right now on the road. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That's right, random. No, no more fallen branches on my car. Fuck, I have no idea how many times I got branches that have fallen in the middle of the road. Hell, when we were moving out of my house like five days ago, a branch hit my neighbor's car. Like at least a three, four pound, it was like two, three feet long and it broke on the roof of her car. That sucks. That really, really sucks. That's not gonna happen no more, absolutely not. That would really suck to have a track hawk and have a branch smack it good. This guy needs to get in his lane. Almost clipped us. I mean, that's what happened to my Mustang. Crushed my Mustang. Don't worry, Random, I didn't stop putting videos out. I'm only paused right now. Got a new video coming out next Wednesday. I'm putting the summer tires on the Hellcat. Summer tires going on the Hellcat. Nice big epic line lock burnout gonna happen in the parking lot. Then I'm gonna go uh, do another video with the Hellcat after that, so some good shit coming. Also, my dad's gonna do a burnout in his Corvette. A big burnout. Right, Dad? Yeah, I'm gonna have a sore ass. Uh, right? Yeah, I gotta get my dad to do a line lock in the Corvette. Just sit there and smoke the tires all over the place until they pop and explode. So the, the car that we're in right now is kind of gay. It's really not cool at all. Let's see if you guys can guess. We're gonna play a game. Yes, the Continental's Frost, absolutely. Okay, so let's see if you guys can guess what rental car we're in right now. That's all you get to see. We're gonna play a game, a guessing game. What brand, what model, Let's start the guessing game. I'll show you guys again. Let's see who gets it first. Whoever gets it first, when my first set of Driveway Demon shirts come in in the next couple weeks, they'll get a free shirt. So the first person who guesses right will get a free shirt. Frost, it's not a Kia. show a little bit more. I'm not going to show the steering wheel because you guys will know. But I'll just give you guys a quick view there. There we go. Let's see if you guys can guess. So far we had a couple of guesses. No Subaru. No Camry. We're going to see who gets it first. Gets a free Drive with Demons t-shirt. One of the guesses was kind of close. Nope. Okay, random dragon bait has got the model right. I don't know how you got the model or the make right, but that's it. It's a Hyundai, but what kind of Hyundai is it? And what? Okay, we're back. There was a bad connection there. Sorry, guys. Um, random dragon bait got it right. It is a Hyundai. We are in a Hyundai Sonata. So, Dragon Bait will get free t-shirt. As soon as they're ready. I'd say it's going to be about another month, maybe. But when they're ready, Dragon Bait, send me your contact information to uh, info at drivewaydemons.com. And I'll make sure to save that when the shirts are ready. I'll send one out to you. You can definitely do some more giveaways um, and stuff like that. I'm going to play more of these games. I'm also going to play uh, games in the videos where... Uh, Basically, I'm going to hide secret words. If you find all the secret words in a video, you get free shirts. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm hopefully going to get the Stelvio review Friday. Not tomorrow, but, but Friday before I head back to Jersey. I'm hoping to get the Stelvio. What's up, Winnie? What's up, Mike and Lex? Hey, you guys got to tint my Integra. I got to come back to winning tints. We got to tint the Integra. Oh, your wife just claimed the shirt. Well, damn, I'm gonna have to do another giveaway and you'll have to win that one so you can have two shirts. His wife's gonna take the shirt from him. Yeah, I'll be a nice guy, he'll take give it to you. Yeah, I'll give you two shirts. As soon as I print them, remind me. Send me an email, I'll send you two shirts so you guys can have a couple. But yeah, Mike Lex definitely gotta do it, bro. Gotta do it. Gotta get some tint on that Integra Type R and uh, Lex uh, or Mike, whichever, I don't know which one of you guys is on there now, but. Uh, if you guys can hook me up with someone who installs windows. The actuator on the Integra is kind of weak. I need to replace the, the actuator motor in the door. So if you guys don't even want to do that, that's what I need to do soon on the Integra. They're kind of weak. 
What's up, Mike? So if you know someone who can replace the actuators and the doors, I want to do that soon. Like maybe, maybe in a couple months. I live an hour from you now, but I'm still going to drive up there. The highway life. This Hyundai has like 130 horsepower. Let's see who of my subscribers in here can look up the information first. How much horsepower does a 2017 Sonata have? It's like 125 or something. Oh no, definitely not. Not blindfolded, no way. 18 wheeler right behind us. I should get him to honk the horn. Let's see if I can get him to honk it. You don't think so? <laughs> my dad said no, he doesn't want to hear it. 178, Lewis. My dad and me got 178 horsepower. It's a far cry from 800. I did, sort of. Um, I definitely didn't want a Toyota Corolla. I picked a Chrysler 200. And they fucking end up sticking me in a Sonata. Good gas mileage, though. I drove uh, 400 miles for 15 bucks. 37 miles to the gallon. When you're on a road trip, gas mileage means more than horsepower. I don't think I could use 800 on a highway. I mean, fuck, I'd only get like 23. And the Hellcat, 22, something like that. So, if you guys want to see a stealth video quadrifolio review hit the thumbs up on the video like this video we're definitely going to do that 505 horsepower that's going to be sick we've been driving all night all night my dad's taking taking over the driving for a little bit then it's back to me again i'm on my iphone 10 the iphone 10 is so awesome it's just Flawless. I mean, but I don't know. How's the quality? Anybody think the quality is bad or good? Now, if you think the quality is bad, let me know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just like, I can't see it. So, uh, Lewis, we've been driving for seven hours. Yeah, it's a selfie cam. Uh, my dad's favorite music. Uh, he likes hip hop and rap. No, just kidding. Dad likes 50s music, 60s, or I'm sure he doesn't mind rocking out to Rolling Stones once in a while. Maybe. John Fogarty, John Cougar Mellencamp, stuff like that. Maybe Bon Jovi, like some of the older stuff. I don't mind the Bon, I don't like the Jovi. <laughs> I, my dad likes Brian Adams, I think, right? Some Brian Adams is all right. So yeah, more, if it's newer, it has to be chill. A little bit of Cheryl without her crow. Yeah, a little bit of Cheryl, just no crow. <laughs> hey, uh, winning window tints wants you to give a thumbs up. Say winning. Just say winning. Oh, to, they're, they're called winning window tints. So just say winning. Winning. There you go. Winning. Winning. Uh, winning. Whining. <laughs> <laughs> hey. If you guys want to get your vehicles tinted in your New York or New Jersey, it's winning window tint for sure. Speed shops. Um, depends. Auto Couture for BMWs in Fairlawn, New Jersey. Uh, if you got a Dodge or a Mopar, I recommend going to HHP in Delaware. No problem, bro. There goes an Audi right there. Just missed it. It was uh it looked uh, like it's an any. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But um Nissan make good stuff too. Uh the three fifty Z is actually a car I've uh wanted to review a while. I've never driven a three fifty Z before. Or a three seventy, but they're really, really nice cars. Yep, nothing like traveling and vlogging and doing videos. What do you guys think about doing a live video on the way back and stopping by the White House? Would you guys want to see the White House? That might be pretty cool. That's of course if my dad doesn't want to just pass it up. I don't even think he's even seen the White House in person. Sure, I had. 
1970s. 1970s. Uh, there we go. But it was only half white. The other, the other half was green. Uh, <laughs> That's when I went to the uh, Gettysburg. Seeing all that uh, big fight that they had there, the battlefield in Gettysburg. Oh yeah, yeah, the Gettysburg battle. I gotta go to one of those. They're pretty fun. I heard. But um, I didn't get a chance to go to the show. The New York Auto Show had a lot of stuff going on this week. I really wanted to go, so I really apologize to all my subscribers. Uh, I really wanted to do that, and uh, it didn't work out. Uh, I got really busy. Now, I might make it for Sunday. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm going to be back in Jersey Friday night. I might be able to go to the auto Saturday. I just might do it. Just hangs. It's a lot of driving, but I would, I'll do it. If you guys want to see it, just like the video. Lots of likes. Sunday is the last day, and I will be back in Jersey Friday really late Saturday morning. Catch some shut-eye and hit the road for an hour drive. Go to the city. Maybe Pops will want to go to the auto show. I don't know. He probably has to go home by then. But, uh, but yeah, they're going to have all the new auto shows. So I think I'm going to do it for you guys. I got the Demon review. My hotel room either tonight or tomorrow or when I get back to Jersey. I got that review and the race. Maybe I'll put the race tonight because I don't want to take it. So maybe by tomorrow morning you guys might have the Demon versus Hellcat race. I'm not sure yet. Uh, with Tunnel Chasers and his Dodge Demon. Oh, uh, yeah. It's the signal. The signal's really bad. Is the signal any better now or no? I'm curious because, like, AT&T is not the greatest lately. But Trackhawk is what I'm working on. I'm going to be working on a Trackhawk review uh, as well as a Stelvio. And maybe when we get some better service here, I will come back with a live vlog. It just really sucks that uh, the service is this bad. Oh, well, you can hear me. That's good. As long as the audio is there, too, I guess. Oh, there we go. Closer. Almost. Almost. We're about, from our total trip, we're just a little over the halfway mark, believe it or not. 13-hour total trip, we're seven hours in. Maybe like eight almost. So like 60, 65%. Oh, I hate driving, but you know, you can always live vlog while driving. So yeah, that's gonna be great. Dodge is working on a lot of new stuff, guys, just to let you know, a lot of new stuff. So if you guys don't know, check out my other videos. Got the 7.0 SRT engine replacing the 6.4. Uh, we also have a lot of goodies coming from Dodge next year with uh, the revision of the SRT Durango. It's gonna be awesome, a lot, of, a lot of really cool stuff. I can't wait to see what Dodge does next with that new SRT engine and the Hellcat pickup truck. 707 horsepower pickup truck. I think I'm gonna convince my dad to get it. Hellcat Ram 1500. Yep. Yeah. I'm gone now. Go get back here. God, I gotta convince him to get it. Yeah, I I want to review that. The, the Hellcat pickup truck, that's the next truck to review for sure. And for some strange reason, all my live vlog videos like I'm doing right now get deleted. So if you guys are wondering why they're getting deleted, I don't know. Something is going on with YouTube. And I really don't know what's happening, but it keeps happening to me. All my shit keeps getting deleted. Once I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna buy my dad his dream car. 1962 Corvette or 1957 Bel Air two-door hardtop. Except, except I'm not gonna get him a stock engine. I'm gonna put a put a high-performance 396 in it. 500 horsepower, right dad? Hot rod in it. That'd be good for the channel too. Get that on the channel. If you guys haven't seen a Bel Air two or hardtop, oh my god, that's the way to go in the old, the old classics or a '65 Nova. '65 Nova was the nicest 
or 67 GTO. My favorite, 1970 Plymouth Cuda. That is definitely my favorite. My favorite, 62 Vet. 62 Vet, you also like the 69 Camaro. No, I don't, 67. Or 67, yeah, 67. <laughs> I broke 10K like a month ago, now I'm at 11. Going for 12, then 13, just keep racking the subscribers up. A lot of reviews coming, a lot of stuff. As you can see, still on the road. Nothing like the road. Life on the road. That's the way it is right now. If you guys really want to know why I'm on the road, I'm going to spill the beans. I'm going to pick up a track hog right now. I just bought it. Right, Dad? We're going to pick it up. And there's only one in the, in the East Coast. Shh. I'm going to get up with the Alfa Romeo dealership across the street from the Dodge dealership down here and review the Stelvio. That is going to be so cool if they have one. It's Alfa Romeo, not Alfa Romeo. Well, I, you know what? That's a debatable thing. I wonder. What do you guys think? Is it Alfa Romeo or Alfa Romeo? Because some people call it either or. I wonder. Uh, Alfa Romeo. I know that for a fact. An old kid who had one when they first came out. Ah, uh, Frost said it's the 4th. Okay, you got me. You got me. He said it's the 4th of April, not the 1st. Means April Fool's because oh. I was getting a track hawk. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, it is Alfa Romeo. That's what someone's saying, yeah. But the Stel... I, you know what I really like, guys? I'll tell you what. I almost thought about trading my Hellcat for. Is the Alfa Romeo uh, Julia. Oh. The Julia is, like, just so badass. Well, you can't. She got married. Yeah, Julia got married to Stelvio. That's why they're two. <laughs> Here's how fast we're going. So we're doing 10 over. I've never driven this fast on a bike. Oh, really? No. Oh, look at this. I'm going to see if he'll. 70, maybe. Let's see if this truck will honk his horn. His air horn. Let's see if he'll do it. Let's see if he'll do it. Okay, guys, uh, everybody was watching. Didn't you guys know what this means when, it, when you're going by a truck? Maybe this truck we're getting ready to go by will do it. Uh, it's clear as day that that guy back there has no idea what I was doing. So we'll just wait for the next one. The guy was probably like, what the hell is this guy doing? Uh, it depends. He might have been a greenhorn. He might have just got it. He might have just be his first night or first week driving. Peace out, bro. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next live vlog. Maybe this truck right here will do it. Then again, there's a damn good chance he won't even have a clue of what that is either. Welcome home. Why is there always a bump to change states? It's like they do it on purpose. <laughs> it's so like weird, but yeah. All right, here we go. Let's see if this guy will do it. Here we go. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't notice. My apologies, Benin. Yeah, he's probably sleeping like my dad said he doesn't want to wake himself up. Uh, there was times I didn't do it either. But he was smiling too. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I would do it, sometimes I wouldn't. It just depends. Nothing sounds better than the horn on a rig. I've had people do that. If it's a kid, I'll do it. It's what like, wah. What did you do in those two pictures? Oh, uh, in my jacket. Okay, I want to take them home. Definitely. 
Look at this guy just cutting right out. Holy crap. Oh, that's that was close. Close call. Well, not really, but. So, I want you guys to drop me some comments here. What's the next review you want to see besides the Stelvio or the Trackhawk? Give me some ideas of some videos you guys want to see. I got a lot of stuff I want to bring to the channel, keep it interesting, keep it fun. How about the Burt Reynolds Firebird? Oh yeah, if anybody's got a Burt Reynolds Firebird, I would love to review that, or if you know anybody does have it, I'll drive up to 20 hours to do that review, seriously. Even if I have to drive across the country to Illinois or Indiana, I don't care, I'll go. So if you know anybody who's got the Burt Reynolds Firebird, let me know, I would love to review it. That's a car that I definitely want to review. But they're rare, they're like the Dodge Demon. They're like really, really hard to find. But yeah, that's that's what's definitely coming to the channel next. I also want to do some videos on the Hellcat when I get the new pulley and tune. GTO sponsored the Hellcat as well. So that is going to be coming also. But I'm going to kill this live feed right now. I just want to let you guys know that I'm trying to review a track. I'm going to tell you it's coming up. We're hitting the road right now still for at least another hour and a half. Then we're going to take a break, finish up in the morning. We'll have some palm trees for... Uh, the next video, Skylines in my area. Yes, I think there are some in Philly and New York. I should definitely review one of those. I would love to. Skyline is a great car. I've always wanted to drive one and have never been able to get behind the wheel. I do have a right-hand drive Integra, which is close enough for now. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see in upcoming videos. I'm going to do another live broadcast tomorrow and talk about uh, the Stelvio more, especially if I can make it by the dealership. I'm gonna be in a really nice climate tomorrow, Florida, good old Florida, for the day. It's gonna be awesome. But until the next live video, thanks so much for watching, guys. The purpose of this video was to talk about Trackhawk or a Stelvio. What do you guys think for the channel? Oh, yeah, a lot of deer on the side of the road. Oh. Um, either a Trackhawk or a Stelvio for the channel. Let me know what you guys think. When this live video is over, go back to the video and comment again. Yeah. Uh, so when the live video is off, go ahead and comment. Let me know what you guys think. Stelvio, Trackhawk, those are my two options for the near future. But until the next video, remember, have fun, be safe. Thanks so much for watching. And a lot more stuff coming, guys. Peace out. Thanks, Frost, you too. And thanks, Dark Knight and Lewis. Thanks for everybody who's watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another video.